We need a bit of a reality check for the Americans in the audience. Did you guys know, and this is obvious, this is very old news for anyone who has been on the internet for more than like two days, but still, I gotta, I gotta make a clip about it. Did you guys know that the people of the world see the US as by far the biggest threat to world peace? Not Russia, not China, the USA. Ouch, it's got a sting. It turns out you don't actually spread democracy and freedom, rather you spread fear. This is a map of a pro-Western poll, by the way, run by Gallup. And this is a map of, of the countries, of like each country and who they consider the biggest threat to world peace. Even fucking Australians consider the USA more of a threat to world peace than what the propaganda tells them to. That is insane. Here's how it is, right? It's like you got the USA, the USA, the USA. Like basically any country that isn't just explicitly aligned with the US has the US. And even some of them in that our line of the US have the US, like Australia, Spain. And the only exceptions to, to people in most countries seeing the US as essentially by far the world's worst imperial power are like the US and Canada who think Iran is somehow. And then there's like India, which sees Pakistan as the biggest threat. And then there's like South Korea, Japan, and like like the, uh, the American allies in, in East Asia who see China as um, being more of a threat than the US. Actually, no, South Korea has North Korea down. Japan has China. Vietnam has China. Well, that one makes sense with all the history. But most countries have the US. And this is the reality, right? Like, this is the reality that Americans don't seem to understand. Most people in the world are completely downtrodden by first world imperialism and colonialism, and they don't really have much time to think about politics. They still know enough to know that you guys are the fucking worst. Despite, like, everything that you tell yourself, all the fucking mental gymnastics that you do, you're still the worst. You're far worse than China and Russia, and basically everyone knows it, right? Like, not saying that isn't even controversial, except among Westerners who, who eat up the, the civilizing mission narrative. These guys always talk about lived experience, right? Like, listen to Venezuelans, listen to Ukrainians, well, listen to the entire fucking world, Americans. Or do we make an exception here when it's bad for you? You don't spread freedom and democracy. You spread death and misery, and you do it intentionally. Pretty much everyone knows it, aside from you guys and your fellow white supremacist allies. I don't know, man. I, I'm, just bring, I'm just bringing you the inconvenient facts. Hope it stings. And yeah, all of this is despite, like, pro-US, pro-Western propaganda being pretty much hegemonic the world over. Despite all of that, somehow... Most people still come out seeing through it and seeing the U.S. as essentially like, you know, the world's most destructive geno genocidal power, as it is. You gotta be fucking something up really bad. You gotta be especially genocidal to have such a, a stranglehold over the global media, to have such a stranglehold over the narrative, to have your narrative spread absolutely everywhere in every single language in the world, and still be so fucking despised. Ouch. Freedom and democracy, folks.